Hi, everybody. Bonkai 922. Here. Okay. Serial. Hope I'm saying it right. Experiments. Lane. L A I N. Lane. Okay. I'm gonna try to have no spoils in this. Spoilers? No spoilers in this review. This anime might be, might be. Now, I'm not saying, when I say worse, I'm not saying like it's a bad anime. It's a good anime. But as far as when. You know, when it comes to, oh, we're going to fuck with your mind. Worse than Ava. You think Neo Genesis Evangelion is bad? The ending with the whole... That's nothing. Right here. Lane. It's show. It's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, it basically takes the concept. It really does. It really does. I'm not joking around. It really does. In fact, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think when I bought it, it was in the box on a thing. It said supposedly. I know how true this is. This opened the doorway to the Matrix movie. Okay, basically, we you know you pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Lane is. Two experiments, Lane. Circles around this one girl, Lane, who this, you know, she, she when she goes to school. Finds out her friend died. And apparently she's beginning she gets emails from this friend. And she apparently the story is that her friend actually went inside and, and they don't call it the internet, they call it the wired. And she went inside the wired. And she's sending her emails, laying an email from the wired. Then she decides to get a new navy. That's what they called the computers in this show. And this is this is by the way, this is during this time time, 1998. This is because this was when it was came out. You're talking about like uh, desktops, like fucking old, old. You're talking old, old, old computers. And she she basically does. Uh, Lane, she goes through this process, she's interested, and she's just absorbed in it, and she starts modifying her computer, and her room turns out to be like a fucking unbelievable, it's like, it, you walk in, and there's water on the floor, it's, it's like, she turned an entire room into a computer. And this base, this show, takes the concept of the real world and the world of the wired, and they intermingle. This is a trip. This anime, serial experiments, serial experiments lane, is a trip. Serial experiments lane is a trip. Trip. Oh, a trip. It's like, forget about it, man. Once you go in, you're like, you can't, you, it's impossible. You have to, it's like, oh my God. Talks about God and, and I don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but man, it's it a trip. You got to pay attention, man. You're like, I'm like, damn. 
course, the ending just, just didn't make sense to me whatsoever, but I kind of understood it. More or less, the concept in Lane is that apparently Lane becomes omnipresent. And you don't know what omnipresent is. Omnipresent more or less means... I really shouldn't have said that. There's three spoilers. I mentioned one thing. That I should have said. Well, more or less, you get the idea. That she, in the world of the Wired, she's more or less an omnipresent being, or to some extent. Well, actually, no, she's not. But she gets absorbed into the Wired, and weird things start happening to her. Like, there's two lanes and, and all this other shit that's going on. I'm like, oh, God. Ugh. And it's her sister's there, and she just, I don't know, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what is going on, man? And Merlin said when when he found out, I was watching, he says, oh, the, the ending's surprising. And, and well, yeah, it was. I mean, I kind of had the feeling going in to the second to last episode, I had a feeling that was going to happen. So what she did but it's a good show don't get me wrong lane now if you get this one okay but it's expensive it's 70 dollars just let everyone know um but it's a good show give it a watch if you can but i feel that it probably influenced the Wachowski brothers to a certain extent To a certain extent, it did. And it's just like, it, it, the whole premise, aside from the actual character, Lane, is that you have the, like I said, the real world and the wired world intermingle. They intercross with each other. With each other. That is pretty much the story here. Um, It's a great show, but man, it's a trip. It's a trip. It's a fucking trip. And there are all these different terms. Now, I think I, I got, I showed you guys, I did the unboxing of Lane, and I showed you the whole bit. But, once you get into like, episode 9, 8, it's like, forget about it. Like, right before episode 10, it's like, like, Lane's almost fucked, pretty much. And she finds out all these different things, and I'm just like, holy shit. Um, but, and it's a good, sh like I said, it's a good show. It's a good show. Very sci-fi. Oh, man, forget about it. It's just like, very psychological, very sci-fi, very... And from what I understand, it's a sane. The manga is a sane uh, lane. So, that's another thing to consider. And it's just, oh, like I said, as far as mindfuckery is concerned, worse. Yes, worse than Evangelion. At least Evangelion, it happens at the very end. Like the first, you know, three episodes and the rest, not so bad. Here, it happens everywhere. You're like, what is going on here? Okay, okay, this is happening. Uh, uh, uh. um, if I would give this a rating, um, almost a 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Don't see it. It's a good show. It's just watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. You know, just like how the Bleach chapter was like a what the fuck, this whole series is a what the fuck. But, I digress. It's a good show. It's a good show. Anyone who wants to go buy Lane, but mind yourself, it's $70. But, it's a good show. I enjoyed it. You know? Um, just mind your... But you see, because 
gets kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But yeah, and I, I, I... That's probably the only spoiler I will mention. There will be one spoiler I mentioned, I mentioned it before. But I'll mention it again. I apologize. This is going to be spoiler-free, but I try, try my best not to spoil too much. But... Lane kind of meets God in this show. And... What Lane does kind of makes you wonder about a few things about because like the term that's really the thing that's re the real theme in this show is um the wired you know this is a perfect good show to watch if you're always on the computer like I am he'll scare the fuck out of you I mean to a point. Now, here's the thing, though. This was this was done in 1998, this anime. It's, well, you know. And 98, long time ago, and the computers used there were totally different from what we use today. So that's another thing to consider. But the whole bit was, was that, like I said, Lane kept modifying her computer until she got, you know, like, she didn't recognize between the real world and... The wired, and you begin to see things and weird things and absurd things, and I'm like, "Holy shit, what's going on here?" And the best part, all oh, that, several good parts in this. This just made me say, "What the fuck?" She goes to school. Her desk is not there. This is an empty space. Every And there's so many moments in this anime that make you say, what the fuck? And like I said, mine fuckery up the wazoo. Up the wazoo. No question. I mean, here it says on the box, Close the world. Open the next. So, it, it's a trip. Like I said before, it's a trip. Acid trip. Whatever you want to call it, trip. It's really crazy. I don't know if I'm going to review another anime series. But this one was definitely like... I had to review it because I'm like... Holy shit. Like... That is just <sighs> completely insane. Completely insane. Um, what what happened? And I don't like I said I don't want to spoil too much. Just I was saying the whole omnipresent thing kind of happens in the end. You find out kind of here and there what's going on. And this it's funny how it ended because it reminds me how. Or is it that Maloka Magica ended? But not in the same way. It was it was different. It was in a different way. But confuses you the fuck out. Oh my god damn. Holy shit. Like I said, nine out of ten. What what pr provoke I should give it an eight out of ten, but <laughs> it was just such a crazy sh shit ball thing happening between this and that and this and that and this and that that I had to just that extra boost. That extra boost. Come on, man. Yes, yes. But this was a crazy ass show. If you get a chance, if you can fork over seventy dollars, it's not. It's, it's it's expensive. If you can't, uh, you could watch it online. Um, it's pretty old, but you want to get that Blu-ray feel. You want to get the Blu-ray feel, and uh, I mean, come on, look, look at this shit. Look, look how much is it. You get the artwork and shit. So yeah, Lane. It's trip. That's all I'm gonna say. I've said all these other things, omnipresent thing. It's mentioned. Omnipresent is mentioned. Gods, the concept of God in the Wired is mentioned. You know, all these different things are mentioned in this show. It is really crazy, and I do believe this. And I want to hear what you guys think about this idea. If you agree with this. 
I believe, in some extents, some extents, Lane, it might have, might have opened the door to the Matrix. I don't know what you guys think, but I do believe it to be true. That this anime opened the door to the Matrix. Yeah, pretty good show. Pretty good show. It's just fucks with your head. It, oh, man. Uh, I, I thought Evangelion was bad, or Rossafon, or any of those shows that involved with, with, with religion. This thing is like, god damn. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. 9 out of 10, good anime to go see it. If you could fork over the $70, great. If not, go watch it online. Watch it online. It's good. Just as good. You can't fork over the $70. So, yeah. This is Bonkai 922. Lane. <sighs> Lane. What's the story, man? What's the story, Lane? It's the Wired. She's in the Wired. I'm in the Wired now because it is freaking show close the door exit next open the next crazy shit see you guys later